Reigning Olympic champion in the 50 freestyle, Caleb Dressel is swimming for the first time this season at the US Open in Greensboro Aquatic Center. He starts in the B final after a morning heat swim of 22-3 and the question on everyone's lips is, is Caleb back? Today we're going to be breaking down his final and seeing if that's the case as well as talking about some of the competitors that stand in his way. Hey guys, today we're going to talk swimming, Caleb Dressel and the US Open. Yesterday, the US Open kicked off and it's always a fast meet, but even more so this year because it's Olympic year. Not only do we have some of the best Americans in action, but we have a hall of international superstars that will be throwing their names in the mix. Yesterday saw both the men's and women's 400 freestyle, 200 IM, and of course, the event that you know I love so dearly, the 50 freestyle. Now, in the mornings, you had to go fast just to make it back in one of the evening swims with both an A, B, or and a C final being an offer. In the morning, there was only one 21 point, and it was Quinton McCarthy from NC State. He saw a massive time of 21.94 for his first ever sub-22 swim, and he was rightly so very happy. The crazy thing about him is he's only born in 2003, so he's a real youngster and he's someone definitely to watch out for as we go forward in this Olympic year. Second place in the heats was Brooks Curry with 22-0, followed closely by Santo Condorelli and Josh Liendo, both on 22-0. Caleb Dressel was quite a bit back. He was in 13th, qualifying for the B final in a 22-3-5. But as we're going to see as we go through in this video, Maybe he goes a time in the B final that would be enough to win the A final. Maybe he can lay down a marker that makes everyone know he's a serious contender, not just for the US team, but for the Olympic title that he won last time around in Tokyo. Let's go into the race and see what Caleb has in store for us. I have to thank Jacob for sending me over this footage. I'm not at this meet. And we can see that Caleb's down in lane two, closest to the camera. And the big thing that we really can see from this race is that his start is explosive. Back in the, the trials meet, his start looked pretty meh. And already he's taken a big chunk out of the field on the start alone. There has been a lot of talk about he's lost some muscle mass, but he still looks like a strong and powerful man. And I'm sure he's in the gym making amends for any lost muscle that he has maybe suffered from. His swimming looks different. And I feel like he's not rotating as well as he has in the past to the right side. He is angling the armpit forwards, but it looks pretty low in the water. Now that might be something that gets better as we go through, but this is a uh, different stroke to the one we saw him use before his... Um, timeout where it was almost fully straight arm freestyle. This looks a little bit more like the 2017 era of swimming in my honest opinion. Regardless of what his stroke looked like, the official time was 21.99, marking his fastest swim since World Trials in 2022. Now let's have a little talk about the sort of guys he's going to be going up against when it comes to Olympic trials. That was the start of the A final, and as you can see from the reactions on deck, everyone thought that the referee held them a very long time. I remember watching the uh, the live stream on YouTube and thinking just that, and it's nice to see that my thoughts were kind of backed up by everyone on deck. That being said, let's run through the eight swimmers going in this A final. In lane one, we have Israeli Merion Truti. In lane two, we have the fastest American at trials this year in Ryan Held. In lane three, we have the man of many nations, Santo Condorelli. He's on a comeback tour. He went to the previous Olympics for Italy, and the Olympics before that he saw under the Canadian flag. And now he's going to be representing America, and he's one of the fastest men in history. And it's super exciting to see him back, and it's no surprise he's going to be swimming out of lane three after a 22-0 in the morning. In lane four, it's the NC State boy, Quinton McCarty. And after that 21-9 this morning, all eyes are going to be on him, whether or not he can do it again in the final with a little bit more pressure. In lane five, we have Brooks Curry, the LSU gone cow swimmer. Unfortunately, he wasn't there when we'd done a tour of Cal Berkeley just last month. And I have uploaded videos of that on my channel, so you can check them out up in the description. He was away at Pan Am Games, but now he's back in America training with Cal and swimming fast. Well, he's in lane five. He was 22-0 in the morning. So let's see what he's got in the books for him. In lane six is Canadian Florida superstar Josh Liendo. In lane seven 
It's Mikel Schroeders trying to get his first sub-22 ever swim. And in lane eight, it's everyone's favorite, Michael Andrew, the sprint superstar, the 50 specialist. And he's out in lane eight. He was only 22-1 in the morning. What has he got in store? Let's roll the race and see what we think. My guess the best starts would be out of lane two and three. Ryan Held has an awesome underwater and Santo Condorelli's another great starter. So I wouldn't be surprised if them two had took an early lead. And that does seem to be the case. Ryan Held looks great down here in lane two. And unfortunately from this angle, we can't see a massive deal of what's going on at the top of the screen. But from memory, Michael Andrew is really starting to push through at the end of this race. And he comes out just on top with a massive swim of 21.80. And there we have it, the A and B final of the US Open. Caleb dressed with big comeback. And how did he stack up against some of the other Americans who raced in that A final? Well, Michael Andrew won in 21 0.19 faster than what Caleb Dressel won the B final in, who swam a 21.99. Josh Liendo, the Canadian, was second in 21.90, but he doesn't really matter for Caleb Dressel in terms of making the Olympic team. But if he does make the Olympic team, that is certainly someone that Caleb Dressel will have to match up with when it gets to Paris and the big day. Mikel Schruders, another non-American, but someone who went under 22 for the first time and actually celebrated massively um, with a 21.93. And it was lovely to see because Michael Andrew done like a little water slap and Mikel next to him just absolutely slammed the water, even though he ended up coming, what, third in this race, which is still super respectful. And Santo Condorelli come fourth, matching Dressel's time in 21.99. And I find that really interesting because the two of them both went to bowl school. They're of a similar era and they're both super, super talented swimmers. Both of them were fourth overall on the day with 21.99. Unfortunately for the young lad, Quinton McCarty, he did swim a 22.01 for fifth. It didn't quite get another 21. But overall, it's still an absolute brilliant swim. What I've seen today from Caleb Dressel only bolsters the fact that I think Caleb is going to be the man to beat when it gets to US trials in the 50 freestyle. His start is so explosive, so dynamic, so impressive that it gives him such a leg up on anyone else in both America and the world. And his swimming is still so impressive that it's hard to then over. Because why it's clear that Cam McAvoy hasn't quite got the start of Caleb Dressel, Cam is definitely the faster swimmer. And I still have my money on Cam swimming past Caleb to take that Olympic title next year. But this is all so far off. Neither of them have even made the team. Neither of them are there. And we can't jump to any conclusions. Caleb Dressel is always going to be a challenger. And we can see him slowly and surely getting back to his best with this 21.50 freestyle. If you enjoyed this little breakdown, please do hit the like button. I'm on a little journey to 100,000 subscribers now, so su subscribe to the channel as well. If you do want to support me anymore, I sell merch on my website, www.theswimsuitguy.co.uk. So head over and check out my training plans, t-shirts, caps, and more. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.